Hi, I'm glad you could join me for another free painting lesson. I'm Wilson Bickford, and I'm going to show you a little urban uh, cityscape today, just for something different, and uh, totally different than the other lessons I've been bringing to you. Um, what I have planned today is a little outline of a city skyline with some maybe sunset colors behind it, some reflections of the skyscrapers in the foreground, and some water. Um, I'm going to be using some of my signature fast flow white base medium. Uh, I'll be using my uh, signature oils which are very full and heavy bodied made for wet on wet applications and I've kind of eked this out in my mind a little bit I'm thinking I'm pretty much going to be limited to a few tools here so I think I'm going to be using a two inch scenery brush my one inch texture brush my number 10 flat brush my one inch mop brush number six small flat brush and my number two detail liner. Now that's subject to change depending on what I get into here but I think that's about all I'm going to require. Um, from what I have in my mind I'll get these materials out of my way here so I got more working space. I have some of the fast flow white medium right here on a disposable palette. I also have a little bit of my signature fast flow clear medium. These oils are really thick and pasty almost like caulk. Um, they're made heavy bodies so you can put heavier layers down and thin subsequent layers over the top. So I need some of this clear medium to thin these down as need be as I progress with the painting. So without further ado, uh, I'm going to take my two inch scenery brush. Now I'm thinking of a band of dark through here and then skyscrapers out of that. So I don't want to put the white medium through this area in the center. You'll see I'm going to leave that open. Um, just for clarity, let's do it this way. I'll give you a little sense of where I'm putting it and where I'm not. Just so on camera it'll translate and you can see it. I'm going to use a real faint blue here but probably right in through this area in the middle between these blue lines I'm not going to put any of the white medium that will allow me to put a nice dark in there and it'll stay dark and you'll see why like I said I want it to be a silhouette scene so anywhere I want it dark I don't put this white base coat by the way I'm using one of my signature canvas panels here too which are made of MDF core which is similar to masonite they're very warp resistant archival quality triple primed so if you haven't given those a shot give those a try too I'm sure you're gonna love them okay I'm gonna put some above that line and see the advantage I have over you is I can see this in my head so I know where I'm going with it you're kinda following along blindly here but you'll see right off how this is gonna take shape uh, painting is nothing more than getting an idea in your head and translating it to your canvas um, the more you do it obviously the easier it gets for you and you can compose things right on the fly as you go like I said I have a general idea where I'm going with this for my oils today I have uh, cadmium yellow pale hue cadmium red deep cobalt blue hue ivory black and titanium white so basically I've got the primaries and a lightener and a darkener um, so it's very few tools very few colors to do something like this so if you're a city person this painting will probably interest you I'm more of a country boy, but I can appreciate beauty in the world no matter where it is, even if it's in the city. So I thought I'd throw something diff different at you today. I'm going to put a nice swath of yellow. I'm thinking that this will be skyscrapers from this band up, and there will be reflections in some water below. So see that area in the middle between the blue stripes? I didn't put any white medium. When I go to put dark in there, that will stay nice and dark for me. And obviously this is a, a quick lesson just to show you how you would approach something like this. When you're painting it at home, you'd have a lot more time to put into it and uh, you could slow down and really detail it somewhat. I'm going to take some uh, cadmium red light into that and I'm going to go fairly deep with that. Now since I have yellow on the brush, if I use less red, it's going to go a little more orangey, which is fine if that's the color you want. I want this a little deeper red, so I'm going to really put some red into this. I'm going to start way up here. Get a flavor that you like. And I'm just going to kind of roll this together to get a softer edged transition into the yellow so it looks rather cloud like and soft. And if that's in the sky, it's going to be reflected into the water below. So I'll do the same thing down here. kind of roll them together. Can you see where that's starting to make a little bit more sense to you if you picture a skyline in here? 
that's coming up right off. Okay, I'm going to go a little darker red down here in the water. I'm just doing that because I feel like it. Okay, so I'll dance a little more color into that. I'm going to take a minute and wipe this brush off. I'm going to come back with something a little deeper and darker. Um, I'll probably take a little bit of cobalt blue into that. Red and blue, as you know, will give you purple. So I want kind of a grayish purple tone for the upper sky a little darker than what's on my canvas thus far. Maybe something about like that. If that's a little too dark, I'll lighten it back just a tad with some titanium white. It looks pretty good. I want kind of a blue-gray. Maybe that's a little too gray. See, that's an adjustment. You don't know until you get it on your canvas against the colors you're working with. I'll use a little more blue with that. That's not a mistake, I always tell my students. That's an adjustment. And I'm just going to kind of wiggle this into the red that I had on there. So it just kind of transitions. I want it to look lighter on the horizon, getting increasingly darker as it goes skyward. Like it's uh, either late day or early morning. Anybody who looks at this is going to construe it as something different. Some people will think it's noon or noon, not noon, but uh, midday. I'll get it right here in a minute. Um, they'll think it's either morning or evening. I'm concentrating on my brush stroke here, not paying attention to my words. Okay, I'm going to take uh, this brush and wipe it off again. And I'm just going to smooth this out a little bit. That'll pretty much give me my sky. Now, remember earlier on I said something about putting some uh, skyline in here. I want that to be fairly dark. So I'm going to take my one-inch texture brush, and I'll use some black. I don't want it to be pure black, though, so I'm going to take black, blue, and red, which will give me kind of a purplish undertone, but yet it's going to be very dark. And I'm going to thin that with just a little bit of my clear medium over here. I want this really dark. And I'll put a swath of that right through there to take up the bulk of the dark value that I need there. And then I'll pull some buildings out of that. Okay, that'll get me started. Now since we're working wet on wet, this area where the dark meets the light yellow is going to pick up some of that yellow. So I'm conscious of that. So I'm gonna, you'll see that I thin my paint down accordingly as I go. If I get the paint a little thinner, I can skate it on over the top of that a little easier without picking up so much of the wet uh, yellow into my color and lightening it back. And I will have to ultimately come back and kind of fuzz everything together with my mop brush. Um, experience tells me that. I just know from doing paintings in the past I'll have to wiggle those together a little bit, and you'll see as I progress with this, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to use my number 10 flat brush, and I'm thinking skyscrapers in here. Now, if you live in a city or close to a city, I don't. I'm a country boy. I live right out in the sticks. But if you live close to the country, or close to the city, rather, and uh, you have a opportunity to take a photo of the skyline in your area, you might want to do that. I'm just randomly going to throw some building shapes in here. I'm not thinking any specific city or anything like that. I'm just showing you the technique so you'll know how to approach it. I'm going to put some in with this brush and then I'll switch over and use my smaller flat brushes to get different sizes on these buildings. This is an 11 by 14 panel, by the way. If you wanted, you could use a much bigger canvas. You'd probably want to scale it and use some of the larger brushes. Or you could scale it down and use some of the smaller brushes. This brush works pretty good for this size canvas for the scale that I'm shooting for right now. And I don't want them all the same size, so I'm going to kind of vary this a little bit. Now, whatever is silhouetted against the sky, I'm, I'm thinking there's water down below here. 
So that has to come down in the water. I'm just taking more of these same dark colors, blue, red, and black. So in here, there's going to be a horizon line eventually. But this will be a reflection of these colors. And notice I'm kind of paying attention to the heights. The taller buildings will reflect a little lower. I'm not nearly as critical in the water area because that's going to be blurred. So I'm not as fussy down here. Eventually I'm going to smear that and blur it, which will make it look like water. So that's why I'm not taking too many pains with the exactness of the shapes in the water area. But if you're new to painting or have never given it a try, you really owe it to yourself to give it a shot. Painting is one of those activities that anybody can enjoy, no matter what level you take it to. Some of you will be more serious about it than others. Some of you will just do it as a hobby, but it's a great pastime. Really, compared to a lot of uh, hobbies out there, it's not really as expensive as a lot of other hobbies. By the time you pay your greens fees and whatnot for the country club for the year, brushes and a few paints to start.